Hello everyone, as you can see, we have the George Lucas in Stormtrooper disguise, the creator himself, action figure. I was so excited when they announced this figure. Uh, I actually pre-ordered it from a couple of different places. I might allow both of them, to, uh, both of the other ones to still come in. Uh, as you can see, I do have Dave Filoni's Trapper Wolf here, uh, and I have two Stormtroopers in the back, which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, I think it's awesome that Hasbro is is giving tribute to all of the the greats when it comes to Star Wars. Uh, they just recently announced the John Favreau uh, Paz Vizsla, which I am trying very hard to get. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Uh, but anyways, today we're going to focus on George Lucas, the creator here, uh, taking a closer look at the figure, uh, and uh, and you might kind of figure out why I've got the other stormtroopers here as well. So what we're, we'll do is we'll take a look at the outside of the, the box here, or the container, um, and, uh, and then look at the back. Then we'll go ahead and unbox him, take a look at his articulation, although that's not why we're getting him, but that's okay. Uh, and then uh, compare him to some of the other figures that I've got in the back as well. Uh, so if you have any questions while I'm going through this, make sure to ask down below. I'll leave a link to uh, Filoni's uh, figure uh, review up up here as well. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at George Lucas. So we'll go ahead, actually, before I get the knife out. Um, so as you can see, uh, we do have the Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, we have a pretty good likeness. I'm curious to see how he is uh, out of the, uh, the blister pack here. Uh, he does come with a blaster. And uh, on the back here it says, we pay homage to George Lucas and his remarkable accomplishments in film with the likeness of the director himself, clad in the distinctive armor of Imperial Stormtrooper. All right. And then we've got the, the 50th uh, information there as well. So let's go ahead and take them out. And since I do have others coming, I'm not gonna even try to keep this card back. But we'll put it over there, uh, just so we've got a backdrop. All right, and then we've got the helmet, blaster, maybe, <laughs> maybe a blaster, if it wants to come out. Hmm, there we go. It was very reluctant to come out. And then we've got the actual figure here. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead here and take a closer look at the face first before we do anything else. The sculpt is actually better than I thought it was. Uh, it did not look great to me in the blister, uh, but uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. The neck is a little elongated, uh, but uh, not bad overall. So happy with that. Head does do the full 360, head all the way down head all the way up. We've got a joint at the top and a joint at the bottom as well, like you would expect. Shoulders, pretty good movement, actually. The armor is a little loose there. Um, I'm curious if the other ones are as well. Um, it's been a while since I've taken a look at that. Uh, I do like the way that the shoulder is there. We've got the full 90 that I always look for. Uh, we've got a left right on that one and a should be an up down up down on this guy uh, a torso movement pretty good but again this is not why we're getting this figure we're not going to do a whole lot with them other than uh keep them with the other figures uh, like i said i'm going to be probably trying to get the uh the john favreau paz Vizsla as well so that way at least we've got these three together i think that'll look really awesome together there uh with the uh the helmet on it's a little tight i don't know if i do that very often it's not going to be on very often but uh yeah i don't know how often i will be doing that that is a tight fit that's a really tight fit you can even see the uh the hair there the hairline coming loose <laughs> um so yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that very often. I think I'll do it one more time just for the pictures, uh, but that's really about it. I mean, for the most part, he'll be holding the helmet just like uh, Filoni is over there. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, helmet though overall looks really good. 
The blaster is kind of, eh, I think they threw that away. Let's go ahead and get the Imperial Trooper over here. Oops. Let's th let them all go for a, yeah. You guys stand up over here. <clears throat> You'll see why I got a, I, I've got the Luke out in just a moment. Um, if you take a look, I believe this is the same mold that they use from the Imperial Trooper uh, from the Mandalorian. Looks almost exactly the same as you would expect them to basically copy a trooper uh, for this. It's not a big surprise. The uh, I wasn't sure which trooper it was, but I'm pretty sure looking at this that it is the exact same trooper. I wanted to also get a closer look at the Luke one. Um, you know, it, it looks almost exactly the same, except we don't have the holster. That was my main um, point as far as what I was looking at. And then you also, on the back, you've got that guy right there as well. So those were the th things that I was looking for uh, when, I, when I was deciding whether or not, which, which trooper this really came from. Other than, I think there's a little bit of armor changes as well, but other than that, they're basically the same. Um, this armor is on the Imperial one is loose as well. I'll leave a link to the Imperial Trooper up here as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, still super cool. Uh, so what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and take some pictures and then we'll come back, talk about maybe some things that I learned. I almost always learn something when taking pictures uh, for you guys here in these videos. If you have any questions, ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, that was a better look at George Lucas here in the Stormtrooper disguise. I am elated, I think that's a good word for it, uh, for what they did here. Uh, it's a super awesome figure. Uh, I, I believe I am correct that it is the exact same body as the Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. And like I said, I, I'll leave a link up in here here <laughs> at some point during the video here uh, so you can take a closer look at that it's definitely not the same one that they used for Skywalker there uh, I am super excited for the John Favreau uh, Paz Vizsla figure uh, but uh, this is just an awesome tribute and uh, I think that's really awesome uh, if you have any questions like I said make sure to ask down below uh, so with that if you don't already subscribe to the channel I invite you to do so we do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, like Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series. Uh, going to Galaxy's Edge or Batu East, uh, as I am on the East Coast here. Uh, but we also do other things as well, like home automation, electronics, drones, gaming, that sort of thing. So if any of that is of interest to you, I hope I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.